Welcome, welcome everyone to this Age of Empires 4 build order tutorial for the Ayubids. And today we're going to go for a fast castle build order into a double stable camel lancer production and then get the mosque very quickly to get a dervish to pick up those all important relics. Now as usual, you start off by producing villages from your town centre. Take your first initial villagers to go to berries by building a mill on the way. Take your scout out and about to find as many sheep as possible. Be aggressive with your scout because you don't need to really bring those sheep back to the town centre because you can be relying on berries for the early game. So make sure you go across the map and try and take as many of your enemies' sheep as possible. Now the first villager that comes out from the town centre will go to build a house and then to go to berries. And then the next villager, the second villager to come out from the town centre will go to build a mining camp and then go to gold. Now with this particular build order, we will actually be getting an outpost on the gold to protect it with arrow slits. And I do have a variation if you want to get a second outpost to put on the berries. It's often not really necessary. But I'll show you a variation to do that easily if you are feeling paranoid or if you scout your opponents being very aggressive. In any case, the next villager coming out from the town center will go to build the House of Wisdom and then go to gold. And a quick reminder for the YouTube channel members and Twitch subscribers, this PDF build order will be available for you as usual on Discord. And uh, just like we always do, really. But just as a big thank you for you guys. Well, in any case, we are then going to get the next villager to come out to gold. And that will give us a total of three villages on gold in total. And then after that, we're going to get the next three villages from the town center to go to the straggler tree and gather wood. And now in this build order to get to the feudal age, we're actually going to go up with the eco wing and choose growth. That will give us extra villages and extra food on our berry bushes. Now on the berry bushes, make sure you don't exhaust a single berry bush. The reason why is if you exhaust those little patches, then they don't actually get boosted with the extra 50 food. So you've got to move those villages around and make sure to exhaust them. It's a kind of a big deal because if you actually exhaust them and you don't get the extra 50, that's like almost 200 food that you'll miss out on. In any case, you're going to get the uh, next three villages on wood as we discussed. And um, yeah, I mean, just think about your next strategies and, and what you want to do. So in this particular build, we're going to be building one outpost on the gold. But if you actually wanted to build two outposts, instead of getting three villages to wood, you're going to go for five villages to wood. Uh, there is actually another little adaptation to get the second set of arrow slits, um, but we're going to be demonstrating just three on wood um, at this point. But if you did want two outposts, you want one on the gold and one on the berries, then you want to get the next uh, five on, on wood, basically. Now's the time to age up. And of course, we're going to go up with the economic wing and choose growth. And now we're going to be getting the next two villagers to go to food. That's the sheep underneath the town center. And now just bear in mind, now that you've actually clicked up to the next stage, now is actually a really good time to bring your scout back with all your sheep and then go to scout your opponent. I ideally use the landmark of actually going to the next stage or clicking up to then start scouting your opponent, find out what's happening. Um, and then, yeah, we work from there. We're going to be getting, as we said, two villagers to food. There we have it. And then from here, we're going to get the next two villagers to gold and that will give us five on gold in total. Now is the time that you'll be able to forge your first outpost. So we're going to use a gold villager to build that. And um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward so far. Bring the sheep back, find out what your opponent is up to. And uh, well, once you do have five villagers on gold, then you're going to be rallying your town center to food, basically for the rest of the build order. Like there's not much else to change in terms of the rallying of the town center. Everyone else goes to food. Now, if you are paranoid that your berries are going to be attacked, whilst I would recommend you generally put the villagers from the town center coming out now to go to the sheep, you can actually make them go to berries to take the berries quicker. Now, bear in mind that when you do age up, you're going to actually get three villagers from the House of Wisdom. So I would rally the House of Wisdom villagers to food that's underneath the town center. But just bear in mind, you're not really going to gather any food with those three villagers at the start. You're going to take those three villagers and the two villagers from underneath the town center to make five villages and what they will do they're going to carry one batch of stone that will give you 50 stone and that'll be enough for arrow slits now if you're going to go for a second outpost say you put five on wood earlier then you'd actually take two trips so that will give you uh, you know basically two lots of uh, 50 stone um, and at this point when they do return that stone make sure after they've done the one trip they actually go to berries and that will gather the berries a little bit quicker and get your food. Once they do deposit that stone, that's exactly when you queue up arrow slits. And from there on, really, it's a waiting game. You're going to be uh, scouting your opponent, just finding what's going on. And, you know, constantly, as we said, rallying to food. There we are. There's arrow slits queued up. And uh, 
now is the kind of time to think about your matchup. So when you do go to the Castle Age, there is some things to think about. First of all, you want to be going up with the Trade Wing and the Bazaar upgrade uh, because you're going to actually want to get some favorable trades. Now, ideally, it's a bit of a, you know, you don't really know what you're going to be able to get access to, but ideally you can get some, uh, you know, the Bedouin Skirmishers or the Bedouin Swordsmen. That would be ideal. But in any case, you're going to get the Double Stable Camel Lancers, and that's going to be really good. Uh, but something to think about is um, whether you want to get some upgrades from the blacksmith first or do you want to get the mosque for some relics it really depends on if you're going to be engaged in a fight if you're going to be fighting quite early then i recommend the blacksmith and and get the you know the uh, upgrade that kind of fits the purpose of what your opponent is going for if you're thinking about raiding with the camel lancers then get iron undermesh that help you dive the town centers a little bit better even though the camel lancers are pretty decent at that anyway and um yeah so that's the only really decision that you have everyone's rallying to food now, what you'll end up doing is by the time you actually get to the next stage or click to the next stage, you're going to have 20 villages on food, you're going to have three villages on wood, and you're going to have five villages on gold. What you will need to do, and you may just start to prepare this early, um, make sure you take the three wood villages to then actually build a lumber camp. But you're going to be aiming for as soon as you have clicked the button to get to the next stage, you're going to leave seven villages on food, and then you're going to get nine villages on wood and 12 villages on gold. So just rebalance your economy for that and then you should be fine so we're almost there um, we're going to be clicking up at sort of the uh, six minutes 35 40 second mark that kind of thing there we are so we're going to go up to the next stage so we're going to balance our economy now so just remember seven on food nine on wood and 12 on gold right so now that we're working from here, the next sort of thing we want to do is look about upgrades and we want to get the gold mining upgrade first and that will help our gold income to really start to take off. And then we also do get double broad axe as well. Your wood income is going to start to really rise and this is when you start to need to actually build a lot of structures. So you're going to get your stable and you're also going to build a house and then you're going to get your next stable when you can afford it. So we've uh, clicked the, you know, the gold mining upgrade already Oh, we're just about to get the uh, double broad axe. There we are. And then, as usual, rallying to food, right? So no real changes there. And just make sure that the villagers that are taking the berries, they go to the sheep underneath the town center when all the berries have gone. So there is our first stable. And then the next thing we're going to do is build a house. It's actually quite important that if you... You need to make sure you've got a lot of population space because when you do get to the next stage, you're going to use the tickets to try and buy some Bedouin skirmishers, hopefully, or Bedouin swordsmen if you get access to that. Uh, and you're going to need population space for that. And uh, from here, then you just need to pay attention on the map, like where the relics are, because that's something you're probably going to want to get. We're going to build that second stable now. And then as soon as we do get to that castle age, we're going to be queuing up uh, at least one camel lancer from one of the stables. And then also prioritizing either the Bedouin skirmishers or Bedouin swordsmen. And then uh, another camel lancer from the second stable. Now, if you can't get Bedouin skirmishers or Bedouin swordsmen, then just, you know, just stop bashing out those camel lancers because you're going to need some cover here and you're definitely going to need some units so there we are uh, now thankfully we do actually get access to them today on this uh, particular generation which is kind of nice but as you can see we've pretty much queued up two camel lancers instantaneously as well anyway and our economy is now looking incredibly strong so in this kind of build we actually go for the mosque first because we feel pretty comfortable and then we're going to be rallying our troops forward on your screen right now i'm going to show you what the villager split needs to be in terms of food and gold to be able to maintain production of your two stables and constantly keep trading in those tickets from your house of wisdom now you could have also actually built two barracks instead and to go for gulams maybe even three barracks and you'll also be able to see what villager split that you will need if you want to go for the gulam production instead of your camel lancers and if you did enjoy this build order tutorial make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also perhaps think about checking out the other build orders because i've got plenty of them on the channel for all the different civilizations. Take care and see you next time.